Uh, what we must understand is we cannot do away with the traditional method of teaching. Whatever we've been doing for the last 100, 200 years, mm -hmm. it's very difficult for anybody to, to come out of it in, let's say, two, three years from now, even though we're seeing a lot of changes mm -hmm. happening in the world today. But what we can do is take a practical approach as to what kind of additional learning methods we can use to enhance what is happening in the classroom. So when I attend a lot of, lot of conferences and a lot of travel uh, inside and outside the country, I hear a lot about how we're going to flip the classroom and how everything is going to be study at home and you know, teacher in, is going to be just a moderator. I think we have to take a much more practical view on things and see what kind of technology we can introduce into the classroom like assessment analytics, let's say. Let's say, for example, assessment analytics gives the teacher a tool now to understand the student like she's never done before or he's never done before. Uh, because, you know, in a classroom of, let's say, 30, 40, 50 students, teachers not able to understand how a particular student is understanding the subject at a, at a personal level. But an assessment analytics will then drive and tell you that, look, this student is weak at this particular concept in this chapter. And because he's weak at this, this concept, he's not able to do the other uh, linked concepts. Right. So that's the kind of innovation and, and technology we need to bring into the classroom, how to make a teacher more effective, how to make the delivery of the teacher in the classroom more effective, and not look at a way to completely change the way we have been doing education for the last 20, 30 or 40 years.